Praise the Lord and hallelujah. People of God, we are still continuing our studies through the Africa Study Bible. And we want to equip ourselves till Christ comes. If God through the Holy Spirit has inspired mighty men and women of God to come together to um, do researches and give us this Bible or give us this research Bible, we also need to take advantage of it. Hallelujah. Today we are going to start um, another topic, understanding and applying the Old Testament today. Most of the time, people think that the Old Testament is not important and that it's only the New Testament that is important. But no, when we look through 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, uh, Paul said, All scripture is inspired. It's inspired by God. The scripture, even those days, they knew the Old Testament as a scroll, as a scripture. And now what the apostles did has added up to um, the Old Testament. God inspired them also to write things that will benefit us. And we know that the word of God is a power of God unto salvation. Hallelujah. So understanding and applying the Old Testament today. The scripture, as we know, we all know that we read from the articles in this Bible, in this study Bible. So all scripture is inspired by God, as Paul wrote in 2 Timothy 3:16. The scripture he mentioned was both the old and the new or is both the old and the new. We no longer worry about sowing two different kinds of seed in one field and all that. We know that the Old Testament is full of ceremonial laws. It's full of so many laws, so many laws, and they are all symbolic. Hallelujah. And so we, when we look through the Bible, we see that there are so many difficulties in understanding the Old Testament in Africa, especially as we know, we are looking from the African perspective. And because many practices and customs in Africa are similar to those in the, in the Old Testament, we Africans often identify more easily with the Old Testament than Westerners do. However, this can lead to misunderstanding, especially if you if we do not distinguish among uh, among these the following laws that are based on God's holy scripture. For instance, honor your father and your mother, or you must not commit adultery. All this found in the in the commandments, Exodus twenty. We have so many laws, laws about ceremony, laws that tell the Jews how to govern their nations, and so many others. But then we have, we have some questions to help apply the Old Testament in our lives today. And that is, we should not say Old Testament people practice polygamy. And so we are also practicing polygamy. Some Africans today practice polygamy, but nowadays it seems like it's not only Africans. There are other Westerners who also practice polygamy. There is no difference. Instead, we should ask what God was telling the Old Testament people by a particular law. So by a particular law, he, he asked how we, we should ask what happened to those people who practiced those things. Hallelujah. We can do this by asking the following four questions. We have some questions here. People of God, we are studying. We are learning. We need to take advantage of what other people have sat down to to know from God, just as God inspired men and women of God to write the Bible. And so one of the questions is, or oh, these are the questions, what did the law mean to the people in the Old Testament? 
what are the differences between those people and believers today please note the questions what was the principle or truth that god revealed in the old testament by this law how does the new testament teaching give a fuller understanding of god's principle or truth in this law so these four questions they are meant to be discussed so we will pick them one by one this is an introduction to uh, the topic i mentioned it is an introduction to understanding and applying the old testament today so people of god i will leave you here so stay glued to this channel because next time we are going to answer all the four questions all the four questions so get up your loins let's study together and let's grow together god needs us to use as vessels of honor for his own glory god richly bless you prepare yourself for the answers to these questions if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel that is daily christian living with Reverend Doctor and Evangelist Jacqueline Enin. If you type Jacqueline Enin, it will it will come out. Yes, yeah, so wherever you hear the sound of my voice, you can have it also on YouTube. You can have it on TikTok. You can have this message on Facebook. Let's all study the word of God together. God richly bless you. Allow your, yourself for the Holy Spirit's use and God who use you for his glory. Let's sit under the feet of Jesus as Mary did. Jesus loves people who humble themselves to learn from him. God bless you. I'll come your way next time with study through the Africa study Bible. God bless you. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.